bringing a PDF into my models into Revit 2020. It's coming over here on my insert tab. It, it works a lot like an image. It, it brings it in static. It's only in individual views. It's not a 3D element, but it, it gives a little more umph than an image actually would. So over here on insert, I've got PDF. And once that opens, I can go track down my PDF. It's got to be 2D PDFs. It's, it can't bring in 3D PDFs uh, at this point. But I select the PDF, I click open. If it's a multi-page PDF, it actually gives me the previews of each page here, and I select which page I want. This is the resolution. You need to pay attention to this. So 72 DPI, that's going to get a little chunky look in. 600 DPI is obviously going to be crisp and clear. And um, it depends on what you need to do this for. If you need to print it out, if you just need to use it for reference, 600 DPI should print very nicely. What you need to remember, even though it's kind of rasterizing this, it is going to remember that vector information behind it. So I still can select lines. I still can snap to elements. But clearly, if I select a higher resolution, it's going to take longer to bring it in. It's going to take longer to refresh that. It adds a little bit more size. I did a test on a single page. I brought in at 72 DPI versus 600 DPI. And the one page, there's about a three meg difference. So for one sheet, that's not a problem. If I need to bring in dozens and dozens of sheets, that could really bloat up my model. So I again, I want to be careful about what I'm using it for and what I ultimately need it for. And then I want to pick a resolution which makes sense for that. So I'm going to kind of go middle ground here. I'll grab 300 DPI. I'm going to click OK. Revit's going to think a little bit as it's kind of rasterizing this and pulling it into my model. And then once it's in here, you'll see I've got uh, my crosshairs just like raster image. It even says click to place raster image. So I'll just come wherever I need it. Click and place that. And then once it's placed, you know, when it's zoomed out here, it looks it looks pretty good. But zooming in, we can start seeing that resolution kind of matters. It gets a little fuzzy around the edges and it kind of breaks down. Obviously, the only stuff in here is going to be what was in my original PDF. Now, that's kind of nice because it'll bring in markups too, not just the information on there. So if I'm actually using uh, PDFs for marking up, for redlining, I can pull that PDF back in, review my markups, review my red lines and do the work I need to do. When it's selected, coming over here into the instance properties of it, gives me the width, gives me the height. There is horizontal and vertical scale I can adjust. So it's assuming to bring it in at 1 8 since this view is at 1 8 But if I need to tweak that and change that, this is where I do it. This is where that enable snaps is. Right now, snaps are not on. So it's not paying attention to any of the vector data in here. But if I turn that on, then anytime I need to do something, uh, inside Revit, it's going to be paying attention to the embedded line work that it's finding in the PDF. So I, I'm going to sound a little like a broken record, but again, if I zoom in here, this doesn't look very vectory. This looks mushy and it looks a little fuzzy. Um, but the vector information, if there is vector data inside of the PDF, Revit's going to find it. So if I need to say, um, if I want to use this wall and just put another wall on top of it, I go to my wall tool and I'll go ahead and just leave it on this eight inch generic and I'll use my pick line tool here. And hopefully you can see there's, um, there's a dash there. If I zoom in, maybe you can see a little bit better, but it is finding that line. And that line is pretty much over where that rasterized line is. So right now my location line is on wall center line. Uh, let's just change that to finish face interior. And if I mouse over, you'll see it's giving me not just the line it's going to draw, but the preview of where it is going to generate that wall as well. So just by using the vector data in here, I can click and snap, and it's going to draw that wall for me. Um, works with any of my snapping. So if I need to do line work, I can zoom in here, and it's going to find endpoint. It's going to find midpoint, uh, whatever kind of snaps I need on that, again, embedded vector line work inside of my PDF. So this is really just a, a great addition in here inside of Revit, not just for what I was doing here of kind of tracing uh, views, but we certainly work with and see a lot of folks who want to bring in maybe a spec sheet. Maybe they've got a schedule from another source that all they have is a PDF. Maybe they've got some sort of details or some UL uh, details they want to bring in. So now all you need to do is take, the, take that PDF and just insert right into your model and you are good to go.